State Minister for ICT and National Guidance, Godifre Kabianga, has emphasized that ministers shall be serving the nation during the NAM and G77 plus China summits, despite submitting their vehicles to support in the transportation of delegates. Ministers are what they call entitled officers. Uh, permanent secretaries and ministers are entitled officers for transport. But ministers are members of parliament. Either you are an ex-official or you are an elected member of parliament. So you benefited, you got the 200 million. So the issue of what will I use is, cannot arise. Obviously, 200 million can buy a good second-hand car, which you can use as a, as a, as a, as a minister. Uh, commissioners, those ones will uh, <coughs> try to see how they reach office. But it's not for a long time. The minister advises Ugandans to emulate high degree of hospitality while receiving guests. But they also have time to move around the city and they move around uh, the outskirts of the city and also move around up country. They are interested in visiting our national parks and other cultural sites. So there is a lot of business. Meanwhile, the deployment of officers to sub-county police posts, as advised by the president, is ongoing, including finalizing the issuance of a toll-free line for commanders. Uh, we have a, they haven't deployed at all sub-counties, but at least there is presence uh, at the sub-counties which are most vulnerable, mainly those ones which are near the border. So I think with the, the introduction of toll-free lines, it will be easy for the population to communicate to the security organs. As the year comes to an end, the police have reflected on the key milestones registered in the year 2023, including construction of housing units, providing motorcycles, and building police posts in Karamoja. Uh, the human trafficking incidents, violent murders like convictions on violent murders like in the Maria Najerinya case, and that of the serial woman killer, where the convicts are now facing lengthy prison sentences. We also achieved a major breakthrough in the case of the late Joan Kagezi of the ODPP after eight years, and the suspects were charged to court. Police have warned the public against online fraud, impersonation and conspiracy during the festive season. At least nine suspects are in custody of allegations of fraud, impersonation, conspiracy and theft, a crime police anticipate will increase in this season. The suspects with others still at large between October 2023 and November 2023 in the Kampala district, or they are about with the intention of securing unfair or unlawful game, deliberately transferred money amounting to 8 billion 24 million from the Housing Finance Bank to 49 bank accounts where the action was performed. Police plan to strengthen electronic operations, safeguard major international conferences, enhance the use of technology, and establish an online complaints management system at the Professional Standard Unit. Ivan Kahua, Abdunasir Wama, UBC News.